good, good, good morning, good morning <laughs> to you. It's way too early for musicals. Ah, uh, but we've got breakfast, fit, or a princess. It smells so good. So, have you had a chance to talk to Gavin yet? About having the rehearsal dinner at the restaurant? Mm hmm I did, and he said it was a great idea. Excellent. So now I can start to work on the menu. Yes, but can we please keep it simple, nothing elaborate? I want you and Mom to be able to enjoy the dinner and not spend the entire time in the kitchen. Of course, darling, because there is no place I would rather be than sitting with Gavin's parents and having them tell me how difficult this tax season is. OK, Dad, they might be accountants, but they are good people. Uh -huh. Now, you and I need to go over the projections for this month of the business, and I did more of the running of the semi-retired life. Well, once you start running that semi-retired life, I will stop asking for your input. You need a hobby. <laughs> Good morning, sexy. Mm. I told you how much I love waking up to find you here. Yes, you have, but don't get used to it. It's only until the wedding. Oh, you're so old-fashioned. Don't forget that you have an interview this afternoon. Oh, with Wine Country Magazine, right? Uh-huh, only a profile on the 10 best restaurants in the state, nothing big. Let's make sure they get my good side this time. Hmm? I'll tell the photographer. Okay. I won't miss it. better get going. I wanted to stop by the market on my way down to the restaurant. Wasn't mom gonna go with you? She should be back from her run by now. You're right. I didn't even notice that she hadn't got back yet, but see, that's what happens. You start talking to me about the books and the morning just flies by. I'll give her a call, make sure everything's okay. I bet Joanne down the block probably stopped her to chat on her way back. Probably her. Hello? Yes, this is Jim Peterson. Who is it? It appears to have been a hit and run. We've got officers out now searching the area for witnesses. I knew something was wrong when she didn't come home sooner. Is this something she did every morning? Yes. She loves running. She was training for the marathon. She did it every day. Loved running. Same time? Same route? Yeah. I'm sorry, why? It's just routine questions. You don't think that... We've already established a tip line, and I promise you, I will chase down every lead that I get. When can I see her? Oh, thank you. Oh, I can't believe it. Are you okay? That just doesn't feel real. What Jim, took you so long? My car was stolen this morning. I'm so sorry. I'm Detective Gomez, and you are? Uh, I'm, I'm Gavin. I'm Lindsay's fiance, and I, I work with Jim. Oh, the. A chef at Leila Pine. Yeah. Just Jim, and is there anything that I can do to help her? Thanks, Gab. You know, Annie, I'll... I think that's all I need for now. I'll call if I have any more questions. You mentioned that your car was stolen. Have you reported it? Uh, no, not yet. I can take down your information if you'd like. I'll save you the trouble. Um, I really don't think right now is a good time. Of course. I'm sorry. I'll let myself out. Please do call us if you learn of anything else. I promise. 
life given us by nature is short, but memory of a life well spent is eternal. Our dear Annie might have left us way too soon, but her memory lives within each and every one of us. Her inescapable joy that touched every person she met. Proof. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to startle you. No. Oh, I just needed a moment away from all the listeners. Do you want to keep playing interference? Give you some more time away? Thank you. That would be great. I just need to... Someone you know? No, I don't. It's probably just some local come to gawk or one of my dad's fans. On a day like this, really? Is this town's equivalent of a celebrity chef? <sighs> well, then I can definitely take care of this one. No, I'll, I'll take care. Lindsay, I am so sorry for your loss. Oh, thank you. I, your mother was such a wonderful oh, sorry. lady. Is not what you think, Lindsay. Oh, Listen to me. Oh my God, we're even having an affair. I would never cheat on your I mother. I cannot believe you. Lindsay, calm down and hear me out. Who are you? I'm Sarah. I think what Jim has been trying to tell you is I'm your sister. Jim is my father. Dad. It's been nearly 30 years, but I knew the moment I saw her. I, I didn't want you to find out like this. Not here, not now, but I just met her myself 10 minutes ago. But it's true. Sarah is my daughter and your sister. I hope you understand. After waiting for so many years, one more day felt like torture. I only wanted to see you in person, not just a photo, but when I saw you, I couldn't leave without saying something. You never tried to reach out before. Franny, my, my mother, made me promise to wait. I think she knew it would wreck what you had here. But you knew about her. Franny and I um, had an arrangement. I mean, I didn't love her. I can't believe this. I can't believe that you had two families all of this time. I was born. It, it was just too painful for both of us. So we agreed to go our separate ways if I would. Um... If you would what? if I would marry her, make an honest woman of her. She'd let me go. You were married to her mother? How, what about mom? How could you, 
How could you marry mom when you... Annie and I were never actually technically married, Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay. Let me go. I better go after her. <clears throat> So, you must be Gavin. Your mother was saving these for a uh, special occasion. I think mom would consider me finding out about my long lost sister a special occasion. Honey, don't. Lindsay, I could sit here and say I'm sorry until the day I die. And I truly am sorry for this and a. Oh. He was carrying your baby. Truth is, we had had a handful of dates and then one night that I regretted almost immediately. Because right after that is when I met your mother. Annie was everything I ever dreamed of in a woman. And we both knew right away that we were just meant for each other. Some months after that, Franny showed up pregnant. And when she said she was determined to have the baby, well, we, um, we came up with a plan. I would marry Fran just to save her the shame of having to face her parents and support them financially for a time and in return I got to stay with Annie Franny knew I didn't love her and she could tell that I I died a little bit each day that I I wasn't with Annie and mom went along with it with you being married to someone else this whole time we were young, we were in love. It seemed like a workable plan at the time. And after a few years, it just sort of became a distant memory. Your mom legally changed her last name to Peterson and nobody ever thought twice about it. I mean, you say your husband and wife, no one ever asks to see a marriage license. And then you came along. And our lives were so... Your mom and I had 35 wonderful years together. And I wouldn't trade a day of it for anything in the entire world. But what about Sarah? She grew up without a father. I know. So, what are you going to do about it? She really did seem broken up about the whole thing. She crashed my mother's funeral. I really think she got the short end of the stick here. It's just that her mother never even dated, not even once after your father, and that she was just so devoted to maintaining the entire charade. Just, she sounded like a really lonely woman. Sounded. Uh, she said she died recently. She was going through her mother's things. That's how she found out exactly who her dad was. Why now? She needs a family. She's all alone in the world. Sound like you feel bad for her. Yeah, it kind of do. 
She wants a family, Lance. And technically, you are her half-sister. Honey. Honey. Listen, just... with losing Annie and everything that's going on... Do you, do you want to postpone the wedding by a few months? No, no. My mom would want us to start our lives. I know, but what do you want? You. We're in this together, for better or for worse. Remember? trying to help. It's okay. I, I didn't mean to startle you. I'll, I can replace it. Please. I never cared for those plates anyway. They, uh, they were an anniversary gift from Annie's mom, but you shouldn't be cleaning up. I needed to do something with my hands. I need to find a motel nearby. It's too far of a drive home this late at night. Well, you're, you're, you're welcome to stay, Sarah. I couldn't possibly. No, 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 I insist. I mean, you'll never find a vacant hotel this late at night. Thank you. Besides, it'll, um, it'll give us a little time to, to get to know each other. Come on, let me show you the guest room. I mean, it was everywhere. We were picking little bits of roast beef out of the crown molding for weeks after that. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, oh, I was just telling Sarah about your first encounter with a pressure cooker. <laughs> Since when do you bake? Not me, these baking gene that skipped over you. I just wanted to say thank you. And of course, I'm sorry. I feel so awful about the way I handle the situation. You have nothing to feel sorry for. Can I get you a plate? I have to go get dressed for work. Oh, yeah, Lindsay can't eat those. She's deathly allergic to cinnamon. Oh, I wish I would have known. I would have made something else. Well, there's no way you could have known, but uh, well, I'd better go upstairs and check on it. We'll be right back. Lindsay? I need to get to the restaurant, okay? I need to... Be there for the baker who's coming with cake samples, and Gavin is testing out canapes for the reception. So Lindsay, stop. I need to make this right with Sarah and with you. But I'm going to need your help to do that. Honey, I just need things to get back to some kind of normal. There's nothing normal about any of this. I mean, you don't even know her. I know. And it's time that I tried to make up for that mistake, don't you think? 
How long is she staying? I don't know. Yes, she's your daughter and my sister, so. Um, if you have to go to work, I can take off. I should probably go home. <laughs> oh, yeah, you probably have a, a job to get back to or a, a dog. Dad, you're being intrusive. No, not at all. I just, I'm not really working right now. Setbacks at the hospital, so I'm in between jobs. And no dog, just me. Well... I'd really like it if you would stay for a while, if it's okay. Is that okay with you, Lindsay? Oh yeah, she's fine with it. Then I'd like that. Fantastic. I'd really like to show you the restaurant. I'd really like that too. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you, you guys go ahead. I still have to get dressed. Okay, we'll see you there, hon. Gosh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Bailey, you have outdone yourself this time. Mm -hmm. We should really get the bride's input. <laughs> What's going on here? We couldn't help ourselves. Everything looks so delicious, but Bailey brought enough samples for everybody. <sighs> okay, well, I better get Gavin before you devour every slice. No, 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 no. I'll get Gavin. You sit down and start tasting. Okay. okay. So, where should we start? I suggest we skip the boring vanilla and basic chocolate and go right to the showstopper. Mm. It's carrot cake. Mm. Cinnamon. That has cinnamon in that it. That one wasn't for you. That was the groom's. That's why I had it off on the side. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Should we get your dad? Mm. I didn't swallow it. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I should get some water. Well, those look delicious. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jim, actually, before we go out there, uh, I was hoping we could finish the conversation we started yesterday. It's bad timing, to be honest. You know, I've, I've put my heart and soul into this company, and I think I've proved my loyalty. Gavin, you were the best sous chef I ever hired. And look at you now, your head chef. But uh, an ownership stake in the restaurant, I mean, that's a really big deal. And I, and I know I said that I thought it was a good idea, but Annie was never really keen on it. Things have changed? Well, Annie, she wanted to keep this in the family, in our family. Leila Pin means more to me than you can possibly imagine. And now it's Annie's legacy I have to think about. Plus, there's Sarah. What does Sarah have to do with this? Well, I have to consider if she wants to be a part of things. You know, I'm, I'm getting married to Lindsay soon. I know. I just need some time to, to think this through and work things out a little bit. But I promise I will always look after you. Here you go. Well, thank you. You guys really built this place from the ground up. Yeah, mom and dad did. I was in school and away at college for most of it, but a lot of my blood, sweat, and tears went into it too. <laughs> my mom always wanted me here. It's hard to talk about someone you just lost. For a moment, you forget they're not there anymore. It takes time to think about it in the past tense. I feel like I just lost my best friend. <laughs> It'll get easier. I promise. You wake up. You tell yourself to get out of bed. Wash your face. Go to work. And you do it again the next day and the next. The hurt caused by their absence will never leave your heart, but it'll lessen over time.
I hope you girls are hungry. Hello again. Hi there. I hope you saved room. He's testing out appetizers for our reception. Ooh, these look too good to eat. At least they won't kill you. <laughs> what? What does she mean? I just accidentally. Oh, um, okay. Dive in. Well, I guess that's going on the menu. <laughs> wow, good looking and you can cook. How did you get so lucky? You guys started without me? These are to die for. Seriously, amazing. I taught him everything he knows. This place is really special. Yes, yes it is. But you haven't seen the kitchen yet. If you like baking, you will love our pastry station. Come on, let me show you. <sighs> and you two seem to be getting along. I'm trying. I really am. Are you okay? Um, no. Yes, I am. Yeah. Just something Jim said. What? Oh, yeah, never mind. They can wait. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry about it. They can wait. Okay. Well, I should get some of this cleaned up. It was delicious. You know, I honestly didn't even know what you did for a living until she was in hospice. You were always your dad, Jim. I didn't know, honestly, how bad things had gotten. No more talking about the past, okay? It's not a place I want to go back to. I'd much rather focus on the here and now. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, did Lindsay say that you don't bake? How is that possible? I just never had the patience for measuring out all the little ingredients. <laughs> okay, so how about you show me how to make your... What was it you won the James Beard Award for? Ah, egg yolk gnocchi and the beef stock reduction. Yes, show me how to make that and I will teach you how to make my world-class lemon bars. Well, that sounds like a plan. I was actually studying to become a nurse while working at the hospital part-time. I've always enjoyed taking care of people. But I had to drop out my final year to take care of my mom. She needed round-the-clock care. That's a lot for one person to handle. When did she go into hospice? Or um, did you keep her at home? No, she went into hospice at the very end. And are, are you thinking about going back to finish your degree? I'm kind of at a crossroads right now, actually. I've been thinking about a different career track. Oh, outside of nursing? My true passion is baking. <laughs> I've always dreamed of owning a little bakery in a small, quaint town somewhere. Maybe I'll try my hand at that for a while. Chip off the old block. Thank you. <clears throat> um, we should actually start making some decisions, because uh, the wedding is right around the corner. Well, red velvet was definitely my favorite. Yeah, but chocolate is a classic. I'd say that the lemon with vanilla buttercream was probably my choice. And I always do love a good lemon cake. I'm sorry, um, that's for me. I have to be off. Uh, it's my best man picking me up for a night out. Have fun. I love you. Love you too. Thank you for dinner. Of course. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> well, that was a good dinner, if I do say so myself. Yes, it was delicious. Thank mm -hmm. you. Of course, of course. Let me clean up. No, don't even think about it. Lindsay and I have this. Well, if that's the case, then I think I might go for a walk. I feel like all I've done today is eat. <laughs> it's getting dark out there. It's all right. I have my phone on me.
You know, I was thinking, and I hope you won't be upset with the idea, but, um... Would you mind if I invited Sarah to the wedding? Sorry, bad idea. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, I... No, it's not. I wasn't expecting it. It's just that she'd gaze to at least invite her to become a part of ours. You're right. Couldn't imagine finding out I have a family after losing everything. But honey, I don't want to put you on the spot. Just promise me you'll think about it, okay? I don't have to. Dad, if you want her there, then, then she should be there. You have your mother's kindness. And for that, I will always be grateful. But you know, I'm worried about her being out there this late all by herself. I think I'm going to go look for her. I'll go with you. Oh, it's a little nippy. Let me grab my jacket. Okay. Jim! Is that? Sarah? Are you all right? Someone just tried to hit me with a car. Well, what happened? I was just walking on the road, and before I noticed, this car was right behind me. It would have run me over if I didn't jump out of the way. Are you sure that they were aiming for you? Maybe they didn't see you. There's no way. It swerved toward me. Did, did you see the car? What kind or what color? Oh, Anything? It so fast. Come on, let's get you inside. Oh, you were shaking like a leaf. It was really minor, so I was just gonna settle it through insurance, but then the guy ran away. I mean, I honestly thought that he was following me. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. She said it didn't swerve, didn't break. She didn't get a look at the make or the model, so we don't know if it was the same car that hit you this morning. Listen, I'd like to have my mechanic from our vehicle pool come by and take a look at your car. Give it the once over. Oh, that's really unnecessary. My car drives perfectly fine. Just to be safe. It's a lot, isn't it? My mother, my sister's story, my accident this morning. I'll track this driver down and see what turns up. At the very least, he fled the scene of an accident. Do you think that someone's targeting my family, Detective? It might be suspicious. We're still waiting for a witness to come forward in your mother's case, but nothing's turned up as yet. You guys are opening back up tonight, huh? Yes. It won't be the same without my mom, but we have to move on. Or that's what everyone keeps saying. Keep an extra eye open.
I'll have a patrol come by throughout the week just to be safe. Thank you. Oh, detective, did you hear anything about Gavin's car? Uh, he filed the report, but um, it's unlikely he'll ever see it again. Chances are it's already been stripped for parts. Well, it was kind of a piece of junk anyway. To be honest, he's needed a new car for a while. I'll have my mechanic come by later on today to take a look at your car. I can't tell if people are here for the food or the gossip, but quite honestly, I don't care. <laughs> Sarah seems to be fitting in nicely. Yeah, actually, she's great with the customers. And you know, I was thinking maybe you and her could have a little one-on-one -on -one girl time together, hmm? We're getting to know each other, Dad. It's gonna take some time. I know, but... It just seems that you're kind of overwhelmed with running the restaurant and planning the wedding and everything. What, what are you trying to say? Well, I might have mentioned that you had a wedding dress fitting tomorrow to her, and she might have said that she would like to go, and I might have implied that I thought that was a great idea. Mom was supposed to be there for that. She was. Why not? Really? Yeah. yeah. Then I should really start thinking about her as my half sister and not some interloper. Thanks, sweetie. I gotta get back out there. Sarah. Oh! It's not a party till someone breaks a glass. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm such a klutz. I will totally pay for the bottles. You can't. What is it? I'm so sorry. It was a special. I'm so sorry, Lindsay. I shouldn't even be here. I'm such a mess. You cut yourself. The first aid kit's in the back. Why are you being so nice to me? Because you're my sister. And actually, I was wondering if you want to come to my wedding dress fitting tomorrow. I could use uh, another pair of eyes. I would like that. I'll go get the bandage. I'm sorry. Are you all right? I thought I saw someone. I don't see anybody. It's nothing. Um, what did you need? Uh, my mechanic got back to me. Oh, about my car? Everything was fine, right? He said your taillights weren't working this morning. Oh. He said the wiring was cut. 
intentionally. What? Do you think someone did that to harm me? Who would have had access to your keys, to your car? Um, only my family. Look, if you notice anything strange at all, you call me immediately, all right? Of course, yeah. Um, good night. Good night. You look stunning. Fits you like a glove. You like it? I do. I think Gavin will, too. Actually, I don't think any guy would be able to take his eyes off you in that dress. I... I appreciate you coming. Neither Gavin nor I have a particularly large family. And my mom and I were planning everything ourselves. I'm really glad you included me. Thank you. Do we approve? We do. It's perfect. Follow me. I'll be right back. She'll be out in a few minutes. What are you doing? I couldn't help myself. What kind of person puts on another woman's wedding dress? What What are you playing at? I didn't mean anything by it. I just, I saw it hanging there. And, and you thought it was a good idea to put it on? What were you thinking? It reminded me of my own dress. A year ago, I was engaged. We were supposed to get married in the summer. I had a dress just like this one. Everything was set, and then two days before the wedding, he left me. I was devastated. I think it was one of the last things that pushed my mother over the edge. She always wanted to see her daughter get married. Look, I'm... I'm sorry about your fiance, but this is not cool. I know. It'll happen. Thank you. So is it really bad luck to try on somebody's dress? I mean, it's gotta be, right? What kind of person does that? And then this whole story about being left at the altar. Story? Why would she make up a story about that? Well, I don't know, it's convenient, isn't it? She has an answer for everything. I mean, the wine bottles? No, but that, that was an accident, Lizzie. Was it? Yeah. What was she doing with that bottle that had no reason to be from behind the bar? It's not on the menu. We really don't know anything about her. Why would she lie? She has nothing to gain if she's found out. No, but she's making herself awfully comfortable in my dad's house and the restaurant. Yeah, but he wants her to be there. There's not much you can do about that. Yeah, maybe. Thank you, Lily. Before you go, I, I need you to talk to Jim for me. About what? Well, the restaurant. He's been dangling a share of the business in front of me for over a year, and now he's acting like he hasn't agreed to anything. Look, if it's about a shareholder's stake, I really need you to talk to him about it. I did, Lindsay. I did. And now he's shutting me out. I could have opened my own place over a year ago, and I chose to stay because he said he would take care of me. Well, I for one am really happy you stayed, otherwise I never would have met you. I'm being serious. Look, I don't know what was said between you two, but if he said that he'll take care of you, he will, okay? I'll see you later. scared me. I was just, I didn't have a clean white hostess shirt and dad, Jim said that you might have one I could borrow. I didn't see it right away. I should have called, but I was in a rush. So. 
Thank you. Ask next time. I should get ready. That's three times in one week, detective. Good morning. Do you have a moment? I might have a witness. Somebody saw a car speeding down your road uh, about the time Annie would have been hit. Why are they just coming forward now? No, they didn't. My officers were doing a door-to-door. -door. People don't always put two and two together. Did they get a license plate number? No, they didn't. Um, there are quite a few cars that match the description in the county, but uh, we are working our way through them. It's a lead. That's all that matters. Thank you for keeping us informed. Of course. A anything on the driver that hit me? Um, he's got a clean record, but uh, he set up for the fact that he confirmed your taillights weren't working. Listen, if you can think of anything else, any previous stalkers or disgruntled employees, anybody that might want to hurt you or your family, you call me. I will. And uh, be careful. Everything okay? Uh, that was the detective working my mom's case. Coffee? Thanks. Yeah, they think they found a lead on the car that hit her. That's good news, right? It's something. Well, I better get going. I have some errands to run before work. Want company? No. I, um, I appreciate the offer, but it's personal. Sexy. Oh. Hi, Gavin. Sorry, I thought you were Lindsay. I guess we do look a little alike. We must take after our dad. Uh, what are you what are you doing here? I heard there was a farmer's market today. I had to come check it out. I love shopping locally and getting inspiration for my baking. Are you getting items for the restaurant? Uh I am. We focus on a seasonal menu. It's locally sourced, organic. I'm here every week. Lindsay, though, barely has the patience to walk around these things with me to find the little gems. <laughs> these are amazing. So I should have known you weren't her. Ooh, look, pink lemons. I follow this chef on Instagram, and he was talking about how amazing pink lemons are. But you can't find them in stores. Ooh. Hey, Mike. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Good seeing you. Well, I've never actually used them before. Oh, well, they're supposed to be sweeter and less tart than regular lemons, so perfect for dessert. I've been dying to try them in my lemon bar recipe. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um, Mike, just put it on my tab. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so... Why'd you become a nurse and not a pastry chef if you love this so much? Oh, my mother, she didn't approve. She said that nursing was a solid occupation. Baking is a hobby, not a career. Yeah, my, uh, my parents didn't approve either, but they did my life. And you did it in gin. You started out as a dishwasher when you were 15 and worked your way up from there. I'm so impressed with you. I wish I had your confidence. Uh, well, you should, you should really follow your passion for baking. Hey, 
You know, if your if your pink lemon bars are as amazing as they sound, then maybe they can find their way onto the dessert menu. You can do that. I may not be the owner yet. Um, well, so Jim and I we we work out the menu together, and I'm sure Jim would love to include your creations. That would be amazing. You guys really make me feel like I'm part of the family. Gavin, leave a message. Lindsay? Uh, yeah. Honey, are you all right? You look terrible. No, I'm... I don't know. I think I got it all out of my system. I'm okay. I'm fine. You don't look fine. Go home. Take the rest of the day off. I'll have Sarah cover for you. Not a flambe. <laughs> you just didn't know the difference. Honey, what, are you okay? No, I've been sick all morning and trying to call you. Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry. I, I went to the market. I didn't I didn't see anything. Uh, Jim, I'm going to take her home. Good. Is that right? No, I can take care of myself. Gavin, what should I do with your groceries? You're still here. Yeah, I'd like to be the last one out. It shows how much you care about your staff. I like that. What about you? Why are you still here? I like it here. The restaurant. Feels like the one place in the world that I belong, you know? I do. This place used to feel like a second home for me. It can feel like that again. And how's that? I have big plans for this place, Gavin. And you're part of those plans. Do you trust me? Should I? Are you all right? Uh, yes, bad dream. Good night. Good night. You had me worried there for a little bit. How are you feeling? Fine. I was vomiting for three hours now. It's like it never happened. What's wrong? Had a lot of time to think yesterday. And? Haven't you noticed anything different about Sarah? What, her hair? Yeah, it looks like she wants to be more like you. It's a pretty big compliment. She's inserted herself into every part of my life. Because she wants to be part of the family. I found her going through my room. And I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Please don't say that it sounds crazy, but I feel like she's trying to take over my life. You baking and... And now you're thinking about including her in the menu planning. Yeah, because I didn't think it was something you were interested in anyway. 
You never even asked me. Right, but we asked Sarah. My gut is telling me that she's hiding something. Honey, I think you're overreacting, and you would just you would like her if you just gave her a chance. What do you think that I've been doing? I've been including her in in everything, and somehow I feel like the outsider. You feel like an outsider? I don't think you realize how closed off your family can be. I still feel like an outsider sometimes. I'm starting to wonder if she made up that story about getting hit by the car. Why would she keep making up these stories? I don't know, sympathy? My dad fell all over her after that. I mean, don't you think that it's strange that she doesn't have any interest in going back to her own life? Maybe because she doesn't have anything worthwhile to go back to. Just try to be more supportive, at least for Jim's sake. I have to get back to the restaurant. I'll talk to you later. have any photos of me. I thought you might like something to hang up. You're right. I don't. Thank you. I'll find a spot for it today. Lindsay! Lindsay! I know what I saw. It wasn't a friendly gesture, Dad. It was intimate. I would never behave that way with someone's fiance. Well, what did Gavin have to say for himself? Well, what do you think he had to say? That I misread the situation? Could it be that you did misread the situation? No, I know what I saw. Oh, and here comes Sarah now. Lindsay, if we have to talk. What is there to talk about, Gavin? It's not what it looked like. I have eyes. I know what I saw. Nothing happened. I just, I can't have this conversation, okay? You need to go. Don't shut me out, please. I love you. We're getting married soon, and this is... Uh, you, you took off our ring? I just think that maybe, maybe we are moving too fast. You know, maybe with everything that's happened with, with my mom and 
Sarah, maybe it's all just a bit too much. I'm just, you're the only one that I want. Or maybe you want the restaurant and Sarah's your new way. I can't do this, okay? Please leave. Lindsay. Are you okay? Like you care. But I do care. Your family, there's nothing more important than family. You have a funny way of showing that. There's nothing happening between me and Gavin. He was just showing me some techniques. No, oh, is that what they're calling it these days? Techniques. I would never hurt you, Lindsay. I'm sorry you misinterpreted what you just saw. Just leave me alone. I'm worried about you, Lindsay. Don't, I'm fine. Have you um, had a chance to work things out with Gavin yet? We've, uh, we've had a rough few weeks here to get through, hon. But we'll do it together. I'm here for you. Gavin is here for you. Sarah wants to be here for you if you'd let her. I don't think I realized how much time I actually needed to grieve and process all of this. If it wasn't for you and the restaurant and Gavin and Sarah, I don't think I could go on. It's been a lot. Sarah has offered to pitch in some more if you want to take some time off. Why don't you give her my job? Because she couldn't do your job, Lindsay. Nobody is saying that. But honey, you're making yourself sick. I, I don't like seeing you that way. Dad, don't you think that it's odd that she doesn't have a life to go back to? I thought she'd just sort of put her life on hold to get to know us better. I mean, the two of you were starting to get close. I, I'd hate to see that just fall apart now. Honey, take tomorrow off. It's our slowest day. Take some time to focus on yourself, okay? 
that's what you want, that's what I'll do. I've only ever wanted what's best for you. Lindsay. Lindsay, you can't, you, you, you can't keep ignoring me. I'm not ignoring you. I don't know what to say. You have to hear me out. <laughs> if you want to call off the wedding, it's fine, but I will, I will never stop fighting for you. I knew from the moment I saw you that you're the woman that I want. You're the only one that I want. Going after me. No, please stay with me. Oh, honey, are you are you okay? Is anything broken? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, honey. Okay. We well, come on. Can you stand? We're gonna get you in the car. We're taking you to the hospital. No, please, no hospitals. Please. Uh, honey, you can... I'm okay. I'm okay. No, no you're bleeding. You're oh, bleeding. I'm... To our home. We need to call the police. No, not tonight. What about that detective? Uh, the one that's on your mother's case? Yeah, I'll, I'll call him tomorrow. Who would do this to you? Maybe it's the same person who went after Sarah? No. Wait, do you, do you know who attacked you? I have my suspicions. Well, tell me who it is. Tell me, and I'll kill them. Honey, you... You are the most important person in the world to me. I'm never letting anything like this happen again. Everything's gone sideways since Sarah showed up. Yeah, I'm beginning to agree with you there. I've been wanting to tell you something. Yeah, yeah, of course. Tell me. You can tell me anything. You know that, that day that I got sick? Uh, yeah, you said you had a stomach bug or something. I think Sarah put something in my coffee. You think she poisoned you? That coffee was the only thing that I had all day before throwing up. And then right after that, she went to the salon and got her hair done exactly like mine. Right, and then she found me at the farmer's market. And there's something else. The accident I was in? Yeah. Gomez said that someone messed with my taillights. What? Yeah, his mechanic said that it looked like someone went in and did it intentionally. Maybe she knew that I was allergic to cinnamon. I mean, she's the one who served me that cake. So you're saying Sarah's behind all of this. Just why would she want to hurt you? I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. So what do you want to do about it? I want to check something out tomorrow before I definitively point the finger at her. It's, it's not safe to confront her if what you're saying is true. I have her home address. It's only an hour away. I want to see what she really left behind. Just not by yourself. <laughs> not by yourself. Because you're not alone. We're doing this together as a team.
Jim, I need your help. All right. No, no, I, I'm, I'm on my way. Everything okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I'll be back shortly. night, Gavin, the minute she was safe. Yeah, I know. She was physically attacked. You should have called the police immediately. I wanted to call you and Detective Gomez, but Lindsay insisted on sleeping on it. Why is she going to Sarah's house? What is she thinking she's going to find there? Answers. And she's looking for answers. Sarah's been so vague about her past, and she's just inserted herself here into her life so easily. And Jim, ever since she's arrived, bad stuff keeps happening to Lindsay. Really bad stuff. Don't you think that's odd? I found your car. It's at Sarah's. What, what is your car doing here? You have to come here. I... There's blood on the bumper. I'm gonna call Gomez. Lindsay, Jim, drive faster. Hello, sister. It was you. That was the best part of my plan. Using your fiance's car to kill your mother. Stay away from me. <laughs> You're a tough cookie, Lindsay. I'll give you that. I've been trying very hard to kill you. You tampered with my car. I might go for a walk. I got the taillights, but I didn't have time to cut the brake lines before you and Jim interrupted me. You grab my jacket, but I had to think of something. Anyway, I was hoping to make it look like an accident. And the coffee? Guilty. I nearly had you with that one, but you didn't finish the cup. Everything all right? Although I almost got you with the wedding cake. You knew. Jim told me about the cinnamon allergy that first morning. Mm. And the attack. That was you two. Oops. You're crazy. You have no idea how long I waited. My mother would never let me contact Jim while your mother was still alive. You can say what you will about my mother, but she was a woman of her word. I 
think she lived in hope that one day he would come back to her, to us. But he didn't. Did you kill her too? No, I would never. But you could kill mine. She was so healthy and full of life. I would have been an old woman by the time she finally croaked. Why? Because you had the life I deserved. You had everything! But we let you into our family. We opened up our lives to you. Do you get it? I don't want to share this with you. You got to live the life that I should have had. You'll never get away with this. Yes, I will. Because no one will ever find you. You can't be serious. Oh. I will have your gilded life. And what's Gavin? You're insane! They're gonna come looking for me. They're not gonna believe that I just left. They will. Once I tell them you didn't want this life anymore! <laughs> She's trying to kill me. Wait, no, no, I brought your dad. Your dad's here. I sent him around the back to look for you. We have to go get him. Sarah. Sarah, put the bat down. Put it down and we can talk about this. You had to ruin everything, didn't you? Ah! No! 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 <laughs> it's okay. I know, I know. It'll be all right, honey. It'll be all right. I'll make sure you get everything you need. I am so sorry, Lindsay. I never should have doubted you. You couldn't have known. Can we go home now?